and welcome. I am Zinder, and this is episode 29 of my Minecraft Let's Play. And, uh, we're gonna mess around with spawn. I know I need to get back to that elevator at some point, but, uh, I'm not getting to that point just yet. What was I doing? Whoops. I don't want those. I'm gonna put that in there. Um, but my plan is to go work on the... Basically gonna go build over by spawn. I don't have any torches. I suppose I should probably fix that. And... Torch is solved. I've considered updating and playing on the uh, 1.2 um, development build. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to label that. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. I've thought about it. I've also thought against it you know, kind of weighed pros and cons. There's not a whole lot of cons other than the uh, chance of my world getting corrupted because it's not an official release, but I think the chances of that are actually about as likely as it getting corrupted normally. Yeah. But there is a world format change coming up in the uh, the newest... that's uh, in the newest snapshot because it had to be put, be put in to accommodate the new height limit of the worlds. Because it's not going to be, you know, water level 64, and then you can go up to 128 and down to, down to technically like two or three, because bedrock prevents you from actually getting lower. Um, but uh, basically, there's going to be a format change, and that that kind of worried me a bit. Although building super high buildings, I, I can't even really think of what I would do with that. That just seems unnecessary. But a lot of people were, have been saying, you know, it sounds like it could be a precursor to upcoming biomes. And, yeah, that might be possible. I wonder if I can destroy these. Oh. Isn't that handy? Yeah, this, the, all this tall grass is in my way. And I don't... This isn't quite as flat as I expected. Ooh, there we go. Um, spawn is right over this way somewhere. It's like right on the edge of the water. But, uh, I want to clear all this out. Mostly because of the fact that, uh, I, I you know, I was originally just going to build the animal farm here and whatnot, but I decided that I'm just going to one-up the entire thing. Why not just build a city? The reason why I brought the cobblestone is because I plan on laying the uh, the wall groundwork and lighting it all up so it's a nice safe place. Then I'll probably run the uh, the minecart over next to it. It won't go inside of it. I'll probably build a small building where I'm going to put the minecarts for that temporary time. So that way they're outside of it and then I can place them later once I figure out where I'm running them. But in the current situation, I don't even know how big I'm going to make this. It's going to be pretty big. Get out of here, seeds. Uh, this torch is going to get on my nerves. Having just one torch just sitting there. I, I really wish I could just crush the grass by placing the block. Instead of needing to manually destroy it or topple it with water. But this isn't going to be tiny. This is going to be a pretty big thing that's probably going to take more cobblestone than I even have. It's too big grass. And I considered, I, I think I am actually just, well, yeah, okay. I'm going to do what I was thinking about doing before. And you're probably wondering, what is that? Well, I seem to have finally managed to get an acceptable quality and have the ability to edit. It basically requires me to double convert, even though one of them's not so much of a conversion. And because it's basically me outputting in an uncompressed format in Sony Vegas, and then I run that through AVI Demux to get the uh, the output quality that I'm looking for, which I didn't actually take note of what that number was, because I have to make a few small adjustments for it to actually match up, but pool of water. I'm going to have to reshape this terrain. Be good use for all the dirt that I have. Oh god. 
not entirely sure how big I want this, but I probably could have built all of this without the cobble. And I can still technically do one of the ideas I was thinking about. Oh, come on. Which involved all that lava. This grass is just so annoying. What? Great. This is too high and that was too low. Well, this will give me the dirt to fill in the uh, the water, I hope. Oh. Um. Where? Here? Right along this? There's a chicken in front of me. Um. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the base foundation of this laid. And then I'm going to use my newfound editing powers to speed up the actual construction afterwards. Oh, creeper. Oh, he didn't blow up. I'm going to get him. Yeah, pretty much ever since I enchanted this sword and got what I did on it, everything is just pathetically easy. Ow. Spider? I can't hit him on grass. Another spider. Um, I was going to add more levels to the experience farm using all this cobble, and I was going to do that for the episode, like not to do it in the episode, but do it before I started the episode. Um, but then I decided that, first of all, I'm going to build a little bit closer to spawn. Why not? And then, uh... Huh. That stack of cobble's now gone, too. I I'm sure you can guess, just based on the fact of how long this base level has taken. You know, in terms of blocks and time. Fuck off. That was close. Why is there so many mobs out here? Hey, eggs. I want the gunpowder, no. Of course, I want the eggs, too. But, whatever. Fine. Can all stay there. Oh, come on, skeletons. Oh, shit. Oh, God, they got me. I knew building at night was going to be a bad idea, and this is why I didn't just speed it up to begin with. Okay, we're going to get back out there. You know what? Hell with it. I want to make this not take any more time than it needs to. And the easiest way to do that is to just roast them all. The funny part is, is they've probably despawned by now. Except for that guy. It's burning behind me. And that skeleton. And that zombie up there. And, and that creeper. And that creeper. Stay away from me, creeper. I wonder how much of these stuff is actually still spawned over here, because once you get away outside 128 blocks of them, they're supposed to instantly despawn, technically. And my inventory is going to be an absolute disaster when I pick this stuff up. Remind me not to die in the future when carrying an entire inventory of cobblestone. It's bad for my inventory management. I want the gunpowder, but I know I don't have room for it. I don't know why I brought the shears. Something tells me I should just store some of these materials. Just make a chest and store it. But, uh... Okay. You know what? First things first. Let's get rid of all of this. Where's my water? There it is. By this, I mean these. It's being more difficult than expected. Okay, fine. Fine. Be that way. You know what? The rest of these can stay here. 
me just reorganize my inventory here and I probably don't have enough tools for everything I'm going to do but that is not of any major concern to me at the moment I don't need those pick up anything else, pick up seeds why not let me just, yep get my inventory organized that's organized enough okay whatever, I lied I should probably have a sword on my bar and uh, I'm just gonna go silent and I'm going to speed this up so I'll start talking to you again here in well probably a couple of minutes okay so this is the progress that has been made so far as you were able to see in the uh, the time-lapse or the sped up version this is all going to be filled in down here so the inside of this is all gonna be super flat and I should be able to build quite a bit inside of here um, don't know where exactly I'm gonna put the uh, the entrance and this and that but I'll figure that out. As you can see, night has set. And, uh, we're actually a decent way into it. Oh, no chicken. Um, what I am going to do is, since you already know what's going on here, I'm probably not going to show you the rest of this. Like, I'll have the walls built at some point, and you'll see that, but I don't really think it's necessary to subject you to all of it. I do think that I need a better way out. Apparently I need a way out in general. Stuff trying to kill me over here. Hey! But, uh... Still got plenty of cobble left. I don't want to just make this entire episode sped up, so... I'm actually just gonna keep... Go what is with you chickens? Move! I think I'm just gonna expend the rest of this cobble as quickly as I can. At least get the walls. I might be able to get the walls the height that I want them to be. I'm thinking six should be enough. Um, I'm probably going to be out of cobble for what I brought with me after I do that, but that doesn't bother me. Um, I am going to need to dig up some more of the dirt and whatnot around here and get this all filled out, but I didn't want to just all of a sudden, like, with the mob trap slash experience you know, creator thing, I actually felt kind of, felt like I was, you know, just pulling a fast one on you guys and just building it and having it exist. So, I didn't want to, you know, start something and not even let you guys know I'm doing it until I'm already done with it. So, I, uh, thought I would come out here and as I, uh, like, I'm probably mostly just going to get the groundwork, you know, clear out the area of the dirt and whatnot, and then work on building some more stuff in probably the next episode. Um, oh, you bitch. This is the problem with working at nighttime in-game. Randomly being shot off your walls by skeletons. I'm going to need to bring a bow. This guy's getting on my nerves. He does not like me. At all. Oh. I just jumped off my wall. I, You know, I don't know whether... Oh, there's a bunch of them over there. Come over here. Come over here where I can't see you. Well, there goes some of my wall. Cleared out a good section of the dirt, though. That was kind of handy. Whoops, that's not where that goes. I, 
I know that's technically my own fault, because I was purposely trying to get the skeleton to shoot the creeper, but I thought the skeleton should be able to kill him by then, because he had already shot him once, and then I had whacked him with my diamond sword. Didn't quite work out that way. I was going to say, what's going on here? Seem to have reached a dead end. This looks like... Uh, no, I only want it six high. I'm not making a castle. That may look like what I'm making, but I'm not making a castle, just for future reference. So you guys don't sit there and go, oh, it's another castle. Because it's not. Um, it probably, it's going to be a city of sorts. There's probably going to be more added onto this, more sections and whatnot. And I'm probably going to have to get a lot more cobble. So I'm probably just going to branch mine the hell out of where my branch mine is. Ow. I got some extra dirt because of all that explodification. Filling some of these. No. Who said you could come in here? This grass is an extremely plaguing situation. The zombies are not more intelligent yet. Oh, there's two of you out there. One of the big reasons why I'm avoiding going to 1.2 is because of the fact that the texture pack that mine's been modified off of hasn't been set up for 1.2 yet, and I could make my own changes. I could make it 1.2 ready for my purposes, but it's really not worth the effort, I think. So, I'm going to just avoid doing that at the moment. I'm going to need a lot more dirt to fill all that in. But, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way back to my house in the night. You know what? Oh, spider. Can't you see I'm busy? I'm going to put, like, some kind of overhang on that so they can't jump over on me. But, uh... I'm going to make a chest and store the cobble and other random stuff I have out here. Yeah, I only need one chest. doesn't even need to be a double. I heard a noise. Store my cobble I got and other random things just so they're not in my inventory. Probably going to regret leaving them here later. Regret leaving them here because I'll go to use this chest and it'll be filled with random crap. I'm not even sure which way is the way back to my house now, to be honest. I'm just going to cut a hole in the wall against my better judgment. I guess it's really hard to lose my house. There's this gigantic railway in the sky that kind of says, hey, I'm over here. So we're going to go back over there. I'm going to go inside my house. This episode, I'm. it's going to be another one of those things where I'm going to say it's probably going to be a short episode. I'm going to look, and when I go to upload it, I'm going to find out that it's fucking over 30 minutes long. But hopefully whenever I speed up that section of footage, it'll drop it down. And if we're less than 30 minutes, we're doing good. And that's not just going to be a section of nothing. I do have some royalty-free music to throw over it, and I am going to repeatedly use the same tracks in future episodes and whatnot, just because it's a lot simpler to add it in there. But uh, I'm also going to try and work some editing magic. Um, you'll find out if that works or not. I am, however, going to... Uh, I've noticed there hasn't been too many views on my adventure map, so I think I might actually put up a link. I'm going to set up a link box, because I want to play with editing. It's more than I needed. Uh, yep, putting it right here. Click here to view the Aaron of Mansion adventure. I will see you guys in episode 30. And this 
has been a really cheesy ending.